Hello, welcome. This is Food with Life. Hello and welcome to Food with Life. I am your host, Jeff Marty, and we're here at a wonderful taste of Italy. And we have a wonderful guest here, Ms. Christina Avalis. Very good to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. Um, you have written a very interesting book, I see. It's yes. called Living Beyond Organic, yes? Yes, this is called Living Beyond Organic, and it is literally um, a revolutionary healthy lifestyle book teaching people how to step back into uh, reclaiming their health. Mm -hmm. And it's very empowering because it literally tells you uh, not just general information, but specific information on what you can eat, how to prepare it, and why those particular choices, and how to have a healthy kitchen. And it even has a 21-day menu plan and all of the recipes that you need. So we do predominant uh, organic food yes. in our show. And it is a very important now, especially more like with the, the GMO foods. Yes. Which are very much uh, becoming popular, but we're here, they're just sitting in the election to, not to, to have the labeling. Yes, absolutely. It is very important, yes. Yes, it is very important. I address that in Living Beyond Organic. There are some foods that must be organic um, when you consume them. One of them, of course, is soy, another is corn. There are companies that do uh, label their uh, products mm -hmm. as non genetically modified modified, non-genetically engineered organism, and they're tested. For example, Eden Organic is one of the companies that uh, has a safe corn for you to eat. So I do address that, but there are foods that you can still eat, um, even if they're not organic, as long as they're properly washed. And if you go to a local farmer's market and you trust your um, green grocer, they're oftentimes organic produce, but they just cannot afford the certification. So you really need to go out and, and research and try and cultivate a relationship with your local farmers and find that most likely you'll be getting really, really good quality produce even if it's not labeled certified organic. Yes. I feel very much the same, but I feel very strong that it has to have a label. Yes. Because the, the, the criteria yes. for a label is different than not label. Absolutely. And, and the very important is the seeds. Yes, they that must be the heirloom line. seeds. The seeds. Yes. And the seeds, if they're not properly labeled organic, which are many criteria to have it as labeled. Yes. And you go into the market and the farmer says, oh, well, it's, it's natural, mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have a, a label organic stock. Mm -hmm. My strong feeling is, and I've done some research, is it should have that label. Yes. It's very, very important. Yes. There is a difference. Absolutely. And it generally is in the quality of the seed, yes. which is the whole essence of what's going to be grown. Yes, absolutely. And I can give an example in terms yes. of Papua coffee. Yes. Our coffee beans are Rainforest Alliance certified, and yes. that is very important because it literally takes it beyond um, what is called uh, organic fair trade, which yes. is what people are familiar with. Yes. But Rainforest Alliance certification takes it a step beyond that because they literally work with the tribes people to ensure them 20% um, more in terms of their uh, price for their beans and so um, it is it is important this certification that people become more familiar with what to look for so yes. I do it's important to what to look for yes. you know I, I've been to the markets and they, they as I said they, the uh, farmer the worker says oh it's not certified you know, it costs too much money, or it's, but it costs more money because the process to get it is more costly. Yes. And if you, in the long run, it, it pays back for the farm. I agree. I agree and in the long run. Yes. Um, but the most important thing is that we, as individual consumers, are guided to understand the difference between specific foods. And, and really, I think that, that that is the heart of the matter in my book, is that it's not enough to just eat more raw fruits and vegetables. Yes. You need to know which ones, and because there are some that are better than others, yes. and it goes back to enzyme content. And, and I think that's very important, and, and pH balance in the body. Exactly. And it also, it, everybody says raw food, you know, have this, or this is have this type, or right. this type. But they forget that everyone's body is different. Yes. Some people may not have the body heat 
for yes. the strength of digestion. Yes, absolutely. To digest properly raw food. Yes. So they perhaps will need supplements or digestive enzymes. That's correct. Or need more cooked food in their diet. That's right. And then the other way around, you know? So it's absolutely. all very, very individual. Exactly. And I address that as well because sometimes we don't have access to local farmers markets to yes. get all of the wonderful organic raw yes. produce. Yes. So uh, there are specific digestive enzymes that we can take yes. and I talk about those and, and how important it is to have the enzymes to access the nutrients in our food foods. Well, it's, it's, it's 15, I want to thank you very much thank for, you. for being here with us on Food with Life. And we'll be talking to you sometime uh, very soon with you. Absolutely. Thank I, you so much. My honor to have you. Thank you. I am your host, Chapati. Thank you very much for watching Food with Life. We'll see you very soon. Hello, and welcome to Taste of Italy. We're here with our wonderful guest chef, Giuliano. Giuliano from you know, Fornaio. Yes. Exactly. Your restaurant is where is it now? Where is it? Uh, Fornaio, we have it in uh, Beverly Hills. Yes, right Beverly, now. Beverly, Beverly Hills. Hills. Yes. The location where we're all chef from Italy. Yes. I'm personally from Naples, but each one of us has oh. like different. Yeah, we're all Italians from you the whole a, country. You have a very good dish here. Yeah. You could show it here. Of course. Uh, the camera. What is it uh, in it? And what is so, it? So this is what it is. It's like uh, we have spelt. We have uh, um, garbanzo beans, we have cannellini beans, we have also some farro inside, yes. and everything is just drizzled with extra virgin olive oil, salt and white pepper. You know, celery, carrots, yes. just like nice and easy, very healthy. It's buonissimo. <laughs> if you could tell me again, uh, what is in the ingredients? We have a pepper, what else? No, we have uh, the only thing we have is white pepper and yes. salt and extra virgin olive oil. Oh. Yeah, which is made with the Fornaio brand. So, this oil is so, from Italy. Exactly. Yes. So, is there a good. Uh, the oil is a good quality for healing, yes? Exactly. And also, what we have, it's like um, everything is, like I say, like it's extra virgin. Yes. So, it means like there is not addictive, nothing. It's everything is like natural. We press it three times. It's very, very good. Okay, yes, sir. The cold press and the oil that is The more you press, the more you press the oil, the lighter the oil it gets. So if it's extra virgin, it should be pressed like only once or twice, no more than that. Yes. Because then you get different. So we only press it like once, sometimes twice, you know, depending on the oil or the time of yes. the year and everything. But this is extra virgin olive oil, so it gives a lot of flavor. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the flavor more. Exactly. It gets more flavors, it's it's darker. Yes. And then like I say, like we put like salt and white pepper in this particular dish yes. because everything is natural. Yeah, celery, carrots, um, uh, garbanzo beans, fava, um, uh, cannellini beans, spelt. Yeah, spelt. Yes. Yeah, spelt. So it's very, very good. Yeah. If you cook everything together, it's buonissimo. Bonissimo, bonissimo. Bonissimo. My gusto. Healthy. My gusto. Is it what you gusto, say? My gusto, gusto means gusto means flavor. Flavor. My so gusto. So here there is a lot of flavors, a lot okay. of gusto inside. Good luck, so my much. friend. Good luck. Good luck. We will we'll be talking with you yes, one more. Anytime. All right. Thank you. Good day, sir. You too. This has been our wonderful guest here at the Taste of Italy here, and we learned a bit about more of the virgin olive oil and some wonderful ingredients in in the, uh, everything salad. So we recommend you try it at the, your home because the salad has very many good uh, health medicine properties, which can help your physiology and help your body heal. This is the food with life. We'll see you very soon. And I am your host, Chipot. Hello, I'm Jeparti, your host at Food with Life, and we're here again with our wonderful guests here at the Italian Taste of Italy, the Cafe Bellagio, the Lago Clifton. And I want to get Nick Megan and uh, Franco. Uh, we have a very good, uh, what do you call this uh, appetizer? This is an appetizer. It's a chilled market vegetable soup. Oh, it's a new. So, uh, so Franco, what is in this uh, ingredient? Oh, uh, very simple ingredient. ingredient uh, just uh, braised onion, some zucchini, broccoli, Swiss chard, uh, uh, 
bikini, potato, some squash, carrot, everything is braised together. And put some simple water, salt, and a good olive oil. Blend with basil and uh, a bunch of with cilantro. Blend together and you finish uh, like that. Fresh vegetables. Well, definitely we work with the seasonality. So right now, uh, where we are in the seasons in the warmer climate, we have the spinach and basil and uh, zucchini that are very fragrant and delicious. So the the soup is not wonderful and delicious because of how we make it. It's because you choose the right ingredients. So the chef is a big believer. It's not how you do it, but what you put into it. For this soup, because it's very simple. It literally is all the vegetables braised together and then add some water and puree. So there's nothing scientific, nothing, you know, you don't have to be a culinary chef or an academic. You can just go to the farmer's market, find your favorite vegetables, braise them, cook them down a bit, add some water, puree, and you have a delicious soup that's very healthy. It's even vegan, uh, but it has all the flavors of the season. So we, go ahead. Well, this is probably something that, that our wonderful uh, audience and people can make by themselves. Yeah. Absolutely, very easy. Uh, again, farmer's market, you know, in the spring you might find peas, in the winter you'll find mushrooms or artichokes, anything you find, clean it down, very simple, and slip, chop it up a little bit, but you know, just in half, in quarters, depending on the size, braise it down with some olive oil, so you saute it a little bit in the olive oil to bring out its own sugars and its own caramelization, then add a little bit of water and puree, and you have a delicious soup you can serve warm or cold, with, depending on what you like. Gepranco, anything to add to our wonderful guests out here? What you can say to them? Anything you want to tell our audience about making food themselves? I say, more potato. That works. <laughs> Thank you very much. My honor to have you. It's making my pleasure. Thank you. I am your host, Jepatiji. Glad to have you back at Food with Life. We'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. And we're here at a wonderful booth of Lavaro Restaurante in the Lagio Cafe Bellagio. And we have here our, our wonderful chef, Jean Paul, and our, our guest food expert, Miss Megan. I tell you, Chef, tell me a bit about this food you're going to be serving here. What is it? We serve uh, some fresh ricotta. Ricotta? Top with uh, black caramelized onion with raisin and vinegar. And we top it and we eat with uh, some uh, eggplant sorbet. Eggplant sorbet. Huh. Tell me, uh, what is the reason you pick these uh, three ingredients? Ingredient, uh, is a good, I think it's a good recipe because the eggplant is like kind of fruit, tart, it's good for making sorbet and dessert. Yes. And uh, this is a really good match with the fresh ricotta and the sour and the vinegar and the soup and the onion. So the flavors uh, go well, spices go well together. Sour, sweet, sour, uh, and salty. Yes. yes. Miss Megan, tell me a bit about your your sense of this uh, wonderful recipe. Well, the chef has tried to use more savory ingredients for his gelato and sorbet. What is uh, what is savory? So savory is more on the salt side of your palate rather than the sweet. So typical ice cream gelato sorbetto is with fruit, chocolate, vanilla, 
This is a vegetable, so obviously it has a little bit more of that salt palette. We top, do it with a little bit of fresh ricotta for creaminess, and then sauteed red onions and golden raisins give it an acid and a touch of sweetness so that all the flavor profiles are touched upon. It probably has some good healing quality, yes? Oh yes, because when you eat it, you feel great. Uh, <laughs> and your body too. Yes? And your body too, absolutely. And everything is made in-house. Everything is sourced from the local Santa Monica's farmer's market. We're very much into sustainability and uh, being local and providing well for our Los Angelinos. Yes. Um, the sorbetto is literally eggplant, a touch of sugar, a little cacao for the color, yes. and water. So everything is very clean and recognizable. There's no big food labels. Okay. And if you have time, you can you, uh, try to use organic times? We do. The Santa Monica Farmer's Market is in front of our restaurant twice a week. So we that's where we uh, source all of our vegetables and our fruits so everything on this plate is organic as far as the onion and the eggplant the fresh ricotta we try as much as possible to do local but from Italian uh, you know heritage so an Italian family that is providing the same quality of Italian cheese but here locally so we don't have to ship it so thank you very much for your knowledge our wonderful chef Franco I am your host Chapati G with our wonderful chef Jim Franco and our wonderful wizard on food Miss Lady. <laughs> thank you thank you for watching food with life I am your host Chapati we'll see you very soon